excited hearing it. Uh, it's gonna mean everything. Like, this, this is like all the stuff like I went through, like building up and uh, hearing your name called, getting drafted by an NFL team, something like you never would have thought could have happened. It's gonna be a surreal moment. Three picks of the time. Thank you. Guys. Tariq, uh, you see yourself as, as that? Yes, sir, I get that from my mom. My mom a survivor. The stuff she went through, the sacrifice she made for me and my brothers, and the stuff she had to do on a daily basis really made. Like my mom, I get my toughness, I get everything from my mom. So definitely a survivor. I mean, you've talked a lot over the years about the negativity in your neighborhood and all of that. With the, I mean, your brothers was a victim of it. Uh, how important was your mom in, in, in your mindset that you weren't going to allow that to yeah, my, swallow you up? Yeah, my mom was a real poor because she ain't played no games, so she was very hard on me. And I just wanted to be different. You know, I had a different mindset, you know. I knew that football was going to take me a lot of places, so I wasn't going to let nobody get in the way of that opportunity because you don't get a lot of chances where I'm from, so you can get that chance, you're going to run with it. And that's why I did. I run with it, and I ain't looking back. At Penn State, you guys played a couple overtime games during your career. Uh, I think they only went one or maybe two, but do they start to get really physically wear when the game starts to get into overtime and all that? Does that start to, as a player, does that start to really beat up on you a little bit? No, you got to turn it up even more in, like, in those situations because the game is on the line right there. The NCAA is talking about tweaking the rules twice as for, for overtime, where once it gets to five overtimes, then it's no longer put the ball to 25. It's just two-point conversion yeah. plays back and forth to try and, try and end the game. I know you never played in a five overtime game, it's very rare, but do you, do you think that's a smart idea that if, if that ends up being a change in college football to where once it gets to five overtimes, it's just yeah, try to end this thing? I think so, yeah. Five is, over five would be way too, way too long, so I think that'd be good. Are you aware of the, of the strengths and the weaknesses that are listed in you with the scouting reports and, and what you have to do to show uh, people here that uh, you don't have them, you don't have the weaknesses? Yeah. Um, some people in scouting said my change of direction. They want to see how athletic I am and stuff like that. So I'm going to showcase that tomorrow. Uh, they talk about my hands. There ain't really a lot of hand drills you want to do in the combine, except for like one drill. So I'm really just going to show like my speed, uh, my change of direction. Um, but just to uh, back it up, being able to stay in there against the one, I guess you can't yeah. do that until the camp starts. Yeah, definitely want to show that. Show my hand placements in the run. That's something I want to work on, being better there. Uh, my pad level, staying uh, low, not coming out high. Also, uh, my, with my pass rushing, having my hands and my eyes correlated when I'm pass rushing, knowing where the quarterback at in the pocket, that's going to help me. Sharif, uh, talked to Ryan Page uh, earlier this week, and he said the, the best player that he faced all season was E. Chargers from Montos. Um, you know, he had his breakout year last year. I mean, what did you kind of see with him kind of taking that, that next step uh, with his development? I saw that since he was a freshman, and it's so crazy. When there was a, a battle with him and Shane Simmons, and I wanted to coach Spence off, as I was like, Coach, like, like him and Shane was bad, because Shane a great player too. I was like, Coach Spence, you tour, he going to have a, a monster year. It's the way he approached it, and you know, how he attacked everything. Like, that's my, my little brother, so like, I'm real happy for him. Like, he's going to be one of the best defensive linemen in the country next year. Sharif, there's, you talked about so much going on outside of that people don't usually see at the combine. It's not all just skills and drills. Oh, no. How have you been staying focused and maintaining that focus towards the end goal? Because it's like, you know, I've been prepared for this. You know, like, stuff I had to overcome, like, it's like, this is like nothing for me. And then I'm just so blessed to be here. So it's like, you know, I see guys, you know, upset, be moping around. I be happy. I'm just happy to be here. Like, it could be worse. That's how I always say it could be worse. I could be back in Philly, but I'm in the NFL scouting combine, so you got to put that in perspective. Bench press in front of the crowd? <laughs> yeah, at Penn State, I mean, hey, I mean, the whole team looking at you when you got max out there, so this ain't, ain't going to be a big difference.